Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Are you quite finished? All right, I guess it's okay. Are you ready for some good news? First up, researchers have found that controlling the activity of one particular chemical in the brain could expand our capacity to learn languages and music. Auditory learning is crucial for learning how to speak a language or play a musical instrument, but the ability to learn by hearing decreases dramatically as we mature. What comes comparatively easy to children can be extremely challenging to adults. The results of a new study conducted at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital suggest that this period of heightened auditory learning ability could be extended by controlling the brain's supply of adenosine. Adenosine plays an important role in many biological processes. In the brain, one of its key functions is to regulate a neurotransmitter that allows the auditory thalamus, where the auditory sensory input is collected, to communicate with the auditory cortex where the input is processed. As the level of adenosine rises, the level of this neurotransmitter falls, rendering communication between the auditory thalamus and the auditory cortex less efficient. The St. Jude researchers found that by reducing adenosine levels, they were able to improve the auditory learning skills of mice. The mice were also able to distinguish between very similar musical tones, an ability most mice naturally lack. The researchers believe controlling adenosine levels could yield similar results for humans, but at this stage, there have been no human trials. This study is published in the journal Science. We need to start regulating your adenosine levels and maybe you'll learn to do what the hell you're told. No, you don't think so? Anyway, next up, more potential good news for your brain. A new study by researchers at the University of Cambridge finds that a specially developed brain training game is able to improve the memory of patients in the early stages of dementia. The game, which is played on an iPad and mimics a TV game show, challenges players to match geometric shapes with particular locations. A group of patients with amnestic mild cognitive impairment, or AMCI, a kind of pre-dementia, played the game and were found to score 40% better on memory tests than a control group with AMCI. Participants in the study also reported that the game motivated them to continue their cognitive training, another positive outcome as loss of motivation is also characteristic of AMCI. This study is published in the International Journal of Neuropsychopharmacology, and it's definitely good news for folks struggling with impaired memory due to dementia. But for the rest of us, the best way to maintain brain health is still good old-fashioned physical exercise. And finally, enough about what's good for your brain. Let's talk about beer. Researchers at the National University of Singapore have created a beer that boosts immunity by encouraging the growth of good bacteria in the gut. Probiotic beer wasn't an easy thing to perfect. The acids present in beer don't create the best environment for bacteria to grow. It took nine months of work to fine-tune the recipe so that the finished product contains the ideal amount of live good bacteria. The probiotic beer concocted by the NUS researchers takes about a month to brew, is described as having a sharp, tart flavor, and has an alcohol by volume content of about 3.5%, roughly equivalent to a Heineken Light. Who knows when this beer or other probiotic beers like it will be available to consumers, but the NUS research team has filed paperwork to patent their recipe. So here's what we'll do. We'll regulate your adenosine levels and we'll get you like the cat version of that brain training game. So that'll train your brain up. And then we'll get you some probiotic beer to, you know, fill your guts full of good bacteria instead of food. And then you'll be set. What do you think of that? You still don't care, do you? No, I didn't think so. Anyway, regulating a brain chemical could make auditory learning more effective beyond childhood. A new brain training game has been shown to help dementia patients struggling with memory loss. And researchers brew a probiotic beer that boosts your immunity. That's the good news. 
Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.